standing up here and we can put you guys right to the side. Okay. <laughs> stickers to people as they come. Okay. Ryan Marvin from Pink Pistols. What's going on here today? Well, we are having a rally uh, starting shortly in support of the bill today. Hopefully today will be the last day. We thought it was done before. Can you can you give us a brief synopsis of the road this bill has traveled? <laughs> brief, no. <laughs> uh, it's been up and down. We've had a defeat followed by a victory, followed by a defeat, followed by a victory. But we've come out ahead every time, and we expect to do the same today. And what's the current status? What's uh, what are we hoping to happen today? Uh, today, the core bills are just waiting for uh, to be delivered to Lynch for signature. Uh, the companion bill, which uh, which Lynch wants, is what's being fought over today. Representative Splain, care to comment on today's festivities? I think we're uh, going to see a marriage equality uh, passed by New Hampshire. And uh, even if not, it's uh, been a great dialogue that we've had, and it's going to happen eventually. Everybody ready? John Tuzan is Senior Vice President with Planned Parenthood. I'm up here because our organization very much supports this and they needed somebody to be up here. So um, I want to thank you all for coming out here today. It's just fantastic. I know it's hard on a work day, weekday morning, um, but to see people here to have us know what we're here fighting for and actually to think that we can see it happen. Who would have thought? Well, my name is Mo Baxley, and we stand here today to tell our elected officials it's time, New Hampshire. It's time for them to stand up for equality. It's time for them to stand up for individual liberties and time to stand up for religious freedom. Now is the time. And I'm here to tell you, it is damn sure time for them to stand up for marriage equality. Is it not? So it's been a bit of a journey uh, for us to get here today. So first we had HB 136. That was the marriage equality bill. That passed the House and it passed the Senate. Then we had HB 310. That was the companion piece that fixed all the technical details and put the commas in the right place. That passed the House. That passed the Senate. Uh, then our governor came out and supported marriage equality and religious freedom, saying now is the time for all New Hampshire families to be treated with the dignity and respect they deserve and equality under the law, because separate is not equal. HB 73 is going to be voted on today. It's first going to be voted on by the Senate, and then it's going to be voted on the House. And we are here today, as citizens of the Granite State, to tell our elected officials that here, in the live, free, or die New Hampshire, now is the time! It's a beautiful day to be a Granite Stater, and later today, it will be an even more beautiful day as we join together to celebrate as New Hampshire moves forward towards protecting the freedoms of all of our citizens. to marry, we are only assuring that we extend that commitment to equality to all of our citizens. It's just so fantastic to feel the support from our legislators who've been with us so much in this fight. I see many of them out there and know that many are already inside. Before I call up my next speaker, I just want to mention that we're all here in support of this. It's quite possible that there will be people coming in who are not. And we want to be treated with respect. Let us remember to treat them with respect if they should come on through as well. In a purely economic sense, my girls, or rather I, will spend money on lavish food, flower, music, and celebration. If for all of us, marriage is a profound symbol, and for some a sacred one, what right have straight people to deny it to gay and lesbians, who for whom it is altogether meaningful? Woo! Woo! Yeah! 